Pilot fatigue is the hidden cause of many mishaps and accidents in the airlines and the military. Cockpit exercises can help pilots combat and adapt to fatigue associated with long flights and or extended work hours. Here are a few cockpit exercises demonstrated while sitting in an airline cockpit on the ground, yet safe to conduct airborne. A resistance band can be used for arm exercises. The band in this demonstration is designed for boxers. It is shorter than your typical exercise band, and in this video, it is placed behind the pilot's lower back. There are various movements you can do with such a resistance band as demonstrated here. These are simple arm exercises and easy to conduct in tight cockpits. The legs can be exercised by adjusting your seat to a position allowing you to squat. You can do this with both legs or one leg for more resistance. You're sure to feel a burn by just holding a squat for only 10 seconds. You can also do calf raises to get your blood flowing in your legs to prevent deep vein thrombosis or DVT. DVT is a common disorder for older airline pilots. Your triceps can be exercised by putting the seat armrest down and then conducting dip exercises. Relaxing the lower body will increase the resistance. A set of just 20 of these dips will be sure to give you a burn in the back of your arm. The biceps can be exercised by using the resistance bands to conduct curls by placing the band under your feet. Reverse curls and cross curls or several of the unlimited ways resistance bands can be used in the cockpit to help you fight and beat fatigue. Exercise, nutrition, and diet are the best ways for pilots to adapt to new environments and combat fatigue in the cockpit. At an aircraft pressure altitude of 7,000 feet, just these few exercises can increase your body's core temperature, breathing, and heart rate plus prevent the blood from stagnating in your legs. Cockpit X, the best way to beat fatigue and increase alertness.